Hello, teens! Welcome to Destiny Nation. I'm Pastor Jodel, and this is my Tuesday. So, wise teens, let us all worship the Lord. this episode you can go post it in any of your social media accounts by putting our hashtags hashtag destination hashtag by tuesday and hashtag i accept the challenge i hope you do this challenge with us again i'm stephanie you are destined for christ see you again next week hi there teens i'm pasara armira for a light bulb segment where we learn truths about the Word of God. So teens, for the past weeks, we have learned about the symbols of the Word of God. And today, we are going to take a look into one of them. The Word is like food. Teens, have you ever had food cravings like maybe ice cream, pizza, buffalo wings? Isn't it nice when you get to satisfy these cravings? But the Bible is talking about a craving. A craving for the Word of God. 1 Peter 2 verse 2 Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation. One of the basic needs for us to live is food. And the Word is like food for us. Food for our spirit. The moment we are born again, 
we are like newborn babies, as the scriptures say. And for a baby to live, he needs milk. He needs milk to grow. He needs milk to be strong. And when he grows, he progresses into eating you know, solid food. Hebrews 5 verse 12 to 14. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. Teens, when we read the Bible, we grow in our spiritual walk with God, in our relationship with God. The Word is food for us. We need the Word of God for our spiritual lives to grow and live. Amen? So let us read our Bibles every day. Amen? Every time we're in the service, let us take notes right, in the service. And we have online level seminar if you have not finished it yet. We have online levels. Just contact any of your pastors. Let us pray for more of the Word of God. Well, that's it for our Life Up segment. I'm Pastor Armira. Always remember, you are destined for Christ. Good day, Destin Nation. I am Pastor Mark and welcome to What's Up Teens. First Thessalonians 5.21 But examine everything carefully, hold fast to that which is good. So today, we are going to review an app and it's called Rave Watch Together. So Rave Watch Together is a platform for users to enjoy video content together while voice or text chatting. So it is an app where you can watch a movie or anything, any video with your friends online and chat together. Things that we need to be mindful when we are using this app is Logging in requires connecting to a pre-existing account such as Facebook, Twitter, Google. You can't log in with just an email. You need to use your pre-existing ones. Alright, so this app will pull out your full name from the account that you will choose. New Raves accounts are public by default. So there are a wide range of listings. It can be from YouTube, from Netflix, from Vimeo, Reddit, or even Google Drive. So since it is public by default when you log in, users can be exposed to violence, sexual content, mature languages, and many more. So the problem is if you don't go to a private account immediately, others can join in or chat you or invite you. So immediately go to your privacy settings, set it to private that only friends can chat you or invite you. Location privacy is also a concern and another thing is their privacy content. You should go read it out but in summary, they can give your information that you gave from your maybe your Facebook account that you use for login and give it to a third party company. Psalms 101 verse 2 to 4, I will be careful to live a blameless life. When will you come to help me? I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. I hate all who deal crookedly. I will have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. So guys, when you decide to watch a movie, remember to examine it carefully. If there's a new thing, examine it carefully and hold fast to that which is good. This is What's Up Teens, and you are destined for Christ. Hi teens! Welcome to Compass. I'm Pastor Jodel, and this is my Tuesday. And every Tuesday, we are talking about our choices in life. So for today, let us talk about the choice to work with all of our hearts, especially when it comes to our studies. Let's read Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Whatever you do, work heartily, ask for the Lord, and not for men. So I know that during this time, it's not really easy to finish everything that we need to do for our school. Because it's not just that we are the students, but we also try our best to understand first 
before we can do the things that we need to accomplish and do. And so I know that it is not easy. But we have a choice to work heartily for our studies. Well, first and foremost, let's say that our studies is not supposed to be a pressure, but a pleasure. Can you say a pleasure? Oh yes, it is a pleasure. So not only because we are so blessed that right now, amidst all the pandemic restrictions and the hard times, we can still go to school and move forward in life, but also we know that when we accomplish something in one area of our lives, that is our studies, we are moving forward. We're not stuck up and we're not really just there accomplishing nothing. We are moving forward into the will and the purpose of God. Proverbs 1 verse 22, How long, O simple ones, will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? So as you can see, teens, there are people who are not moving forward in life. They are called simple people, meaning to say they love their simple ways or they love to be stuck up to where they are. We are to acknowledge that when we learn, or at least we are progressing in our studies, and every day as you continue to learn new things, you are moving forward in life. You're accomplishing something in life, and you're going to finish something. And that's very good because not being stuck up means you are moving forward into the will and the purpose of life. Of God in your life and that is one step higher than where you are the day before today awesome right also we acknowledge that in everything that we do we are to excel 2nd Corinthians 8 verse 7 but as you excel in everything in faith in speech in knowledge in all earnestness and in all our love for you see that you excel in this act of grace also so knowledge was mentioned there this is something that we must excel in in this life well you are excellent in your studies i know that for sure these are hard times and i know that it takes time to excel than in the face to face you might say pastora in the face to face i have i'm having a hard time in my studies all the more in this online um curriculum in this online school you have to hang in there and give your best why because you are going to excel in your studies remember you have the mind of christ do not be frustrated with yourself because this is the first time that you ever did this and so you are still adjusting you are still learning you are still managing your time and trying to teach yourself before you can really answer something so be patient with yourself and you will excel in knowledge slowly but surely one bite at a time write down all the things that you need to do and organize yourselves just like how you come to god in prayer isn't it that psalm 5 is teaching us to organize our thought life our prayer life yes now surely there is a great future for you getting knowledge giving your best in your studies as of the moment will bring you a great future proverbs 20 verse 15 there is gold in abundance of costly stones but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel proverbs 24 verse 4 by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches proverbs 24 verse 5 a wise man is full of strength and a man of knowledge enhances his mind so as you can see teens acquiring knowledge makes you mighty makes you someone who is in a strong position also it accomplishes many things in your life right you will be filled with riches wow and your mouth is a precious jewel so as you can see it matters that you have knowledge and it matters what you know in life because in the near future promotions open doors it all comes in with your knowledge and ecclesiastes 7 verse 19 says wisdom 
give strength to the wise man more than 10 rulers who are in a city. Wow! Wisdom gives you what? Strength. So you are considered strong if your mind is strong. Right? Now we know that Solomon wrote Proverbs in the beginning of his life. Of course, most are from his father, King David. But the last, in the last part of his life, he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes. So all of these are experiential knowledge. It's all, it's all nuggets, bits and pieces of wisdom for each and every one of us to learn from. Now, Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 says, Whatever you find to do with your hands, whatever it is, right now, what your focus is, is your studies. Whatever it is that you find to do with your hands, do it with all your might. Teens, do it with all your might. Not everyone is expecting you to be perfect or, you know, to, to know everything. But when you do it with all your might, do the best that you can do in your studies and not be frustrated with yourselves, not be frustrated with the system, with a gadget, with all of these things, but think of ways of how to enjoy learning, enjoy acquiring wisdom, give your best in everything that you do, do it with all your might, do it with all your heart. Know that God will bless you, bless your efforts, bless the work of your hands, crown all of your efforts with success. Teens, let us remember that God is good, and He will help you every step of the way. Let's pray for you. Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. And Lord, as we make a choice to love knowledge and acquire it in our lives, Father, I pray that we will be strong in our insights, that we will really be able to give our best, God, in everything that we do, especially in our studies. What a privilege you have given us to acquire learning. And thank you that we will make best use of these abilities, skills, and blessings and provisions that you have given to us. And let us live as wise teens here on earth. We love you, Lord, and we commit the teens to you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you again, teens, for being here with us at Destined Nation. See you again tomorrow, 5 o'clock. God bless you.